Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Behance for beginners in 2024. So today we're delving into an exciting topic, which is the world of Behance, which is a platform designed to showcase and discover uh, creative work from around the globe. Whether you are an artist, designer, photographer, or any other creative personal, Behance offers a vibrant community and invaluable exposure for your talent. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open a browser that you will need, that you will use. For me, it's going to be brave for you. It could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section. Here, make sure to go and type behance.net and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Behance right away. If it's your first time, of course, sorry. If it's your first time, you'll be taken to the same kind of like page, the same website, but with this page. So if you have an account, you'll have to click on a login at the top right corner and you'll be able to log in with Google, Facebook or Apple or manually if you want. Of course, you can use those options. You can even click on view more to see more options like Microsoft. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in into your account, and the same will be for creating an account. You can create with those options if you want. So once you're logged in into your account, you will find yourself on the dashboard like this. So once you create your account or you just log in your account, you will have to set up your profile. Once you've created your account, it's time to set up your profile. First of all, start by uploading a profile picture that represents you as a creative person and fill out your profile information, including your bio, skills, and location. And this will help others discover your work and connect with you. As an example, if you go here to my profile, no picture, random name. So I go just here to Behance profile. And as you can see, like nothing, no banner image, nothing. So I'll just go as an example, click on edit profile. And here, you can simply use a professional name, maybe your real name or a username as an example. So I'll just let it like that. And here I'll change this as an example to Omix. Uh, or here I'll just do like Alex Omix. Let's say like, it's like that. Of course, if you have any occupation, you can simply enter it out. Company, if you're working for a specific company, location, you can enter it out. And here, if you have a website, you should enter the URL of that website right here. As an example, uh, HTTPS dot like i don't know which websites you may have so for me i'll just add like google.com for you of course just add your website maybe slash uh, test i don't know and here if you have a team already or if you want to create a new one you just add the team name to add anything maybe later on and as you can see on the web, verified accounts build trust with your network by verifying your social profiles. So if you have a Twitter account, a LinkedIn account, an Instagram account, or other profiles such as Facebook, Dribble, Vimeo, Flickr, YouTube, you can even view more as you can see in here. If you have one of all of them, you can connect them all. As an example, like maybe let's say to LinkedIn, just go and click on connect LinkedIn. And here, as you can see, connected accounts. So just go and look for LinkedIn and click on add. Of course, as you can see, Adobe Identity would like to use your basic profile, including your name, photo, headline, and public profile URL. Use your name and photo. Use the primary email address associated with your LinkedIn account, and you can stop this sync with third party in your LinkedIn settings. So click on Allow. And as you can see, LinkedIn will be successful like with your uh, Behance account. So if you go back and refresh this page, as you can see, LinkedIn is no is now linked into your account without any problems. As we said, you can link a lot. And for other things like does not have this connects option, if you click on add a username, you'll basically have to add your username on Facebook. Let's say example, my username in Facebook is uh, tester uh, test. Let's say that's my username. So if people, if I go and click on submit, people can look me up with that name on Facebook. So as an example, just go to facebook.com and if people try to look into me as example my name let's say my name is tester test and click on enter button so people like will be able to find me as example so maybe that's me or something like that that's my page or something like that i don't know just a random name so for me i'll just go here and click on next yeah other than that of course you may want to add a description about yourself describing 
your work or you're describing your things, etc. Whatever you want. You can add the work experience if you have and any links that you may have. You can even add some custom settings or some custom section if you want to add something specific that you didn't find in here. Other than that, once you change like your profile, it's time to start showcasing your work. Go back to your profile, Behance profile. Of course, like one thing I forgot to tell you is make sure to add a banner image, a good banner image and a good profile photo. And as I said, other than that, of course, here on Facebook, if people click on it, they will be taken to tester tests right away. But as you can see, there is no user with that name. So let's just ignore that. So other than that, as I said, you'll have to showcase your work. So make sure to go and create your projects and add your projects. Either it's an image, it's a text, video slash audio, uh, photo grid, embedded, uh, Lightroom, prototype, 3D styles. You'll be able to add a lot of things. So make sure to add your things or basically just add your work in here to showcase it to people that are going to visit your like uh, profile. And of course, you can start joining some communities and following like creative people. Beyond, Behance sorry, is not just a platform for showcasing your work. It's also a vibrant community to creative of creating like sharing and inspirational insight. You can explore like different creative communities and follow artists, designers, and photographers who inspire you. If you have some specific name in mind, you can search it here. If you don't, you can just go to explore here and explore like people's work or arts. And of course, you can get inspired by others or learn from others and start doing the or implementing those things on your work. Finally, you can leverage the Behance uh, as a networking platform to connect with other creatives or potential clients and collaborators. You can participate in some discussions. You can join Behance groups related to your interests and reach out to fellow creatives to collaborate on projects. Building relationship with the Behance community can open up new opportunities for growth and collaboration for you. As an example of this, you can simply start send a message to the, the person or appreciate and etc. And that's going to be it for me today. So there you have it. You are now well equipped to embark your creative journey on Behance as a beginner. Whether you're showcasing your portfolio or exploring new trends or connecting with fellow creatives, Behance offers a wealth of opportunities to express yourself and grow as a creative prof professional. So dive in get inspired and let your creativity shine on behance so this is going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video goodbye